Hi, my name is Veronica Carella, and Pam Wallentini is the executive director of um, our Maryland Children's Environmental Health Coalition. And the testimony I am submitting tonight is on behalf of that coalition. And that pesticide documents um, some of the scientific evidence that we have from the CDC, the Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, and the Maryland Department of Environment. It's well outlined in my testimony. However, I've been sitting here tonight listening to this, and I think it's very important that I offer you some personal insight as to how I became involved with this issue and why I became a children's advocate. I'm currently serving my second term as a governor appointed commissioner on the Children's Environmental Health and Protection Advisory Council, which is the state mandated advisory board to the governor and legislature. Some of you I recognize because I've testified in Annapolis before you in the past and worked with you on some indoor air quality issues and other things. I'm not here tonight speaking as a commissioner, but I wear some other hats as well. Um, I served for three years as state PTA's chair of health and environmental issues and I served for 10 years in Howard County on the PTA Council, primarily with health and environmental issues, but as an elected officer. I have also served for the last six years on an EPA-funded project, a nationwide project called School IPM 2015, which was a, an, an, is an effort to uh, determine the safest ways to control pests both structurally and on turf throughout the country through demonstration projects working with Cornell University, uh, Penn, Penn State, um, University of Connecticut. We go through the entire country and regionally come up with solutions for pest management, um, both structurally and turf. But I think it's important, and, and one thing I would like to say is I got involved with this because between 95 and 97, my children attended Bushy Park Elementary School in Howard County in Maryland. Some of you may see that there's a brand new $26.7 million Bushy Park Elementary School next to the old building. My kids were part of the 400 kids that were on home and hospital care in 1997, paid for by taxpayer money, because those 400 kids could no longer go to school in any school in Howard County often because of the pesticide use. My daughter ended up in isolation with four hours left to live in 1997 after a pesticide application. Now that pesticide has since been banned. It was an EPA registered pesticide, Durasmin, by Dow Chemical. It was sprayed for 10 years baseboard. Children were sick. Children got very sick. My children to this day still suffer the consequences of the pesticide applied, the EPA registered pesticide applied under the law. Um, the tools that we have available to us in this state, the pesticide sensitivity register and the school IPM laws are not sufficient to protect children. Children are impacted and this does impact you. My children never went to a doctor besides well baby care until they got exposed to the pesticide and now they have a lifetime of issues. So please, please, protect the youngest of us, the children. Thank you.